Howdy guys, welcome back. So last week we left off with doing some milling. Uh, we're doing boards that are going to go up on the roof. It's going to be kind of our uh, sheathing, which is the boards that go on top of the rafters and underneath of the metal roofing. So before we get started with doing more milling, first of all, we got to move these boards out of the way. This is what we worked on last week, and we are going to move those up uh, into the loft because well they got to move up that direction eventually anyways and we got to get them out of the way so it just makes sense to go ahead and move them straight up there also we've still got these little slabs laying back here uh, behind the uh, the mill here and they're on the tracks so I just want to get those out of the way as well while we're at it uh, we've got a pallet over here we're gonna stick them on and then we'll move them over to the fence uh, opposite the sawmill here and get those out of the way. Then once that's done, we can finally load up a log onto the mill and get to doing some milling. And then one last quick thing before we start milling is I'm going to clean up the uh, slab wood behind the mill, get that moved out of the way. That way we are all cleaned up and ready to go to get these logs done. All right, so you may be able to hear the uh, thunder behind me, or above me, I guess, in the background. Uh, so we're about ready to get a little bit wet here. I did bring my rain jacket and my bibs and rubber boots, so I'm good to keep on going. However, this camera right here is not waterproof. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one away. We're going to get the little action camera out and probably do a little bit of time lapse with that and we'll just keep on rolling. Alright, so the rain has let up, uh, didn't really ever come down hard, it was just little bits here and there, so I wasn't able to bring this camera out at all, but that log was a mess. Uh, about half of it had split out from the tree at some point, so I knew it was going to be kind of iffy to mess with, and I did get a decent amount of, of wood out of it, 
but it's, they're just kind of a pain to mess with when they're uh, kind of split out like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and clean this stuff out so that we aren't getting a huge pile of stuff over here again. And then I think we're going to do one more log today. We've got three more over here ready to go. These are probably 24 inch across and I think they're 12 foot long. And those logs, those are ones you want to do at the beginning of the day. Not at the end of the day when you're a little bit tired and they just aren't fun to do then. So we'll, we'll save those for another day. And we're going to work on this little 8 foot piece over here. It's only probably 16, 18 inches across. A lot more manageable to deal with. We'll do that one and I think we'll call it a day then. and took the bark off from it. Had a lot of mud and grit and stuff like that that can really dull your blade up. So poplar logs are super easy to peel. So I went ahead and took off the stuff on top there. And so now we're ready to go and mill this thing up. Day two, uh, not really a whole lot to say to start this off because, uh, well, that kind of speaks for itself behind me. That's what we're going to work on first, knock those out. Then we've got another smaller poplar log over here on the stack. We might mess with that as well. And that's basically what I'm wanting to get done today. The uh, predicted wet stuff has started. So like yesterday, we're gonna put this camera back in the truck and then we'll pull out the action cam with the waterproof case on it and we'll just keep on rolling. storm has passed. Uh, you can still hear a little bit of thunder off in the distance as it's moving on down through the valley here. 
and I almost got all my boards up there and stat had a couple here that I accidentally took up there that are a little bit too big I forgot to cut those down to size so we'll mill those down real quick and then we got our stack of kind of odds and ends of stuff over here and so we'll mill those up get something out of those and then we can put all those up man listen to that thunder and then we'll put all those up as well and then we can start on our second log Well, we once again had a little bit more rain, so we had to put you guys back in the truck again. But, as you can see behind me, we've got the second log loaded up onto the mill. And we're going to see if we can't get a little bit more time lapse in before the next rain shower comes through. So we just popped another band. We've been running that one just about, I think, the whole time with this popper that we've been doing. So yeah, we got a good bit, good bit of lumber out of that one. I do think it seemed to break a little bit sooner than others have, and that might have something to do with the fact that I had been uh, kind of fiddling with the uh, the amount of tension that's in the band. And this is on recommendation by uh, one of you guys, uh, Brad. And the rec or what it says on the mill is 25 foot pounds when you're tensioning the band. But what he said is that that's actually the minimum that Woodland says you can do. And it goes up to uh, I don't remember high how high. So I'm messing around with 30 foot pounds, a little bit more and it actually does seem to cut better. It seems to have smoother cuts. It also seems to cut smoother as in like less vibration. And it actually, uh, all around it just seems to run better at a little bit higher uh, foot pounds than the 25 that's written on the mill itself. So that might have something to do with the fact that I think it seems to have broken a little bit sooner. But anywho, I'm not going to mess with trying to put another one on this evening. It's just about time for me to head out of here anyways. Third day for this week. Final day. Today's Friday. And so we're just going to try knocking out the rest of this milling, I hope. We've got our new band over here. Uh, so we'll get that on there. Finish milling up this cant. Uh, we've got actually two more poplar logs that I'm hoping to get something out of. Uh, I thought I only had one, but I got two left. I think, I think that should be enough to finish off our sheathing. I hope. If not, we're going to have to go up and get another tree, but I think it's, it's going to be just, just about enough, a little bit more.
this is the very last cant that we're going to have to mill to finish up the roof. We got a good bit of lumber up here. Look at all that stuff. All stacked and stickered and ready to go. So this is it. Uh, I milled about 10% more than I think I'm going to need for the roof. That way if there's, you know, say it's a 10 foot board and maybe a foot or, well, two feet of it, you know, I can't quite use if I cut that off. Uh, I'm not going to end up with as much that's going to, could go on the roof as what I've milled. So I milled well over uh, 1,100 square feet and the roof is about a thousand square feet. So hopefully, hopefully we should have enough up here and we aren't gonna have to do any more milling. Next week, what I'm hoping to do is get all of this up there. I'm hoping. Um, and as well as there's gonna be a, an underlayment that's gonna go between the boards and the metal roofing. And hopefully we'll get that on as well. Then, that means that the following week, hopefully, we can get our metal roofing and, at the very least, start putting it on. It would be awesome if we could knock it all out two weeks from now, but we'll see. In reality, it's probably all going to take at least one week longer than I think it's going to take, but hopefully, <laughs> that's the plan. So it's starting to get dark out, so I've gotten all that I've wanted to get done today, and like I said, it's Friday, so this is going to be it for this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next week.